Circles have been an integral part of the growth of the country's economy, providing financial services to those who would otherwise be locked out of such services from the banks. Some circles have even grown their services to deposit-taking circles, otherwise known as front office service activity, where they offer banking services. The challenge now, however, is a requirement by the Circle Society's regulatory authority, SASRA, for such circles to acquire a license to continue operating like other financial institutions there's a capital requirement which is in the law of 10 million Kenya shillings which uh, they have to comply with now this 10 million as a minimum capital is what the circles use to say acquire ICT when they want run uh, when they want run a FOSA open their branches and uh, to set up the infrastructure that is required without touching the members funds out of the 215 deposit-taking circles, only 132 have been licensed, while 18 have been issued with letters of intent or inspection for licensing, and the remaining 65 do not comply with the requirements. The 65 have been given until June 2014 to comply, and if they are not able to, the only option will be either to merge with the licensed circles or stop offering the front office services activity. You can't operate as a bank. But you operate in the normal way as a society where members can borrow their own money and loan themselves money. That will, you just restrict yourself to that point. The Ministry of Industrialization says it will not offer any relief to the remaining 65 circles as the Circle Society's Regulation 2010 has already been published and must be followed to the latter. We know that the deposits they have are huge, as the CEO has said, but we'll be looking into working with them to nurse them through the process to ensure that they become compliant. They were speaking during the launch of the 2012 Sako Supervision Report in Nairobi. Ruth Mutegi, Business Defined.